What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Mario B coming at you guys with our week three team builder slash battle for the RODL, the Rocket Draft League. And if you guys are hyped to catch this battle, definitely, definitely make sure to show your support by grassy gliding that like button down below. And if you guys are brand new, as always, guys, definitely, definitely consider subscribing. So a couple of opening announcements before we go ahead and dive into the team builder portion of the video. As always, guys, timestamps will be down in the description below, along with like the little bar that you guys are watching the video on. You guys will see when the team builder is, when the battle is, all that good stuff. But um, I had, and feel free to use those timestamps to find yourself wherever you need to in the video. But I highly recommend that you guys stay for the team builder portion of the video. We got amazing team builder slides, and it's always good to know what the matchup is and why we brought what we brought. So that's a lot of fun. So definitely make sure to stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, guys, if you guys didn't catch our last week's battle, definitely make sure to check the description down below. There will be a RODL playlist um yeah just check down there we'll be down there um also a link to follow all the coaches that are uploading for this season of the rldl as well which is really really nice and uh yeah guys definitely definitely make sure to check the description down below we have a bunch of good links down there uh things like my discord uh my discord as well that you guys can check out that's not very active but hey if you guys want to get into contact with me that's probably the best way to do so and uh yeah i think that should be all the announcements check out our apa run as well we also have another draft league going on called the apa academy um i'll let you figure out how we're doing over there you can check the playlist in the description down below but um let's go ahead and dive into this week's matchup guys week three i'm gonna go ahead and spoil the results for last week's battle if you guys didn't go ahead and catch that um actually let me fix my so why am why do i look so like I want to be like right on the podium you know maybe i should i could always make myself smaller oops you guys saw my background <laughs> i'm gonna make myself smaller uh you guys can still see my background maybe that's a little bit better actually for size wise uh some live editing real quick yeah that should be fine i think that's fine for team builder sizes um but yeah guys uh definitely definitely excited this week we take on abomination and his athabasca mill tanks you guys see it down below um having some trouble pronouncing where that's from i'm not even sure where what part of the world that's from but he's pst so he's definitely on the west coast i believe if i'm not mistaken um but yeah guys big shout out to abomination man uh you know scheduling was super super easy with him he was going through like some moving stuff so hopefully all that went well with him and uh yeah we're gonna get right into the uh nick of things so let's go ahead and start off by checking out the teams as always interesting thing to notice about abomination's team is that he actually has 10 mons while we have nine so that puts us at a bit at a bit of a disadvantage since we technically have to prep for more mons than he does um so that's something to keep in mind too but he does have the zapdos the needle king the skarmory the whimsicott the uh mill tank the heliolisk the gothita i believe it's pronounced zoark nine tails and the musharna guys so very very solid overall squad i really actually like abomination squad a lot uh things like zapdos and uh needle king i feel provide him a lot of offense and like uh defensive utility as well more on the zapdos side uh with skarmory being there to punish his hazard stack is really nice with things like skarmory things like mill tank um there was something else that i was oh toxic spikes on needle king as well which could be kind of scary um you know zap he has a really really good defensive wall in zapdos skarmory and the mill tank as well which is really really nice um and yeah guys things like zora can disguise itself as needle king to potentially cover its checks like typically the best things to check in needle king are like water types like in this situation swampert would be the best for me but uh he could disguise it as zora i can run energy ball to catch me off guard so that's a really really nice tech that he could do there as well things like whimsicott with switcheroo could be a little bit problematic too seeing how my switch-ins are things like rotomo things like umbreon uh actually those are none of my switch-ins My team kind of struggles to switch into uh whimsicott that just kind of hit my head right now so hopefully it doesn't bring it too offensive but as always guys the first six is what i'm expecting so zapdos needle king skarmory uh whimsicott the mill tank and the heliolisk i can also see him bringing something like gothita he brought it the he brought it his first two weeks so i could definitely see him doing something like that zorark i could definitely see replaced with whimsicott um nine tails i could even see him bringing masharna i don't really see him bringing too much i could also see him opting to leave the heliolisk out if he doesn't want to go ahead and go that route so 
uh definitely definitely a threatening matchup guys and we definitely have our work cut out for us if we want to secure the victory this week so let's go ahead and dive into our mons here our first mon here is going to be a victini aka jv rocking the choice scarf this game choice scarf is so 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 nice i i like it a lot to catch things like heliolisk off guard things like zoroark off guards things like nine tails we for sure out speed um the uh needle king as well something that i really like too is that he if he opts to bring the nine tails and he does bring sun um you know we absolutely blow things black with blue flare uh psychic u-turn focus blast is pretty much what we're doing this is nine times out of ten my lead because um my theory is if he leads something we can get a big hit off on it if he leads something like zorark disguised as needle king which would be the ideal situation you know he because i think it would be smart because you know uh zorark can eat the psychic since it's immune to it and needle king typically wouldn't so i can just u-turn so nine times out of ten victini is my lead i'm gonna go ahead and u-turn out of there and i'm gonna go ahead and go straight into my swamper that's pretty much the play there uh for turn one so hopefully it goes the way i want it to be um but yeah this is just really really good at revenge in his team things like blue flare chip down everything things like psychics really really spammable and gets his team barring the zoark and then u-turn is nice focus blast there of course for the mill tank which is probably his check to this thing since it does get dick fat um but focus blast is gonna go ahead and bop it so next we got um my my guy big brother here rocking the torn ability which was kind of silly in hindsight i guess uh the only other one being damp and not that many things on this team want to run explosion and i'm not really running water stab this week so it was kind of whatever on his ability to be honest but stealth rock toxic earthquake flip turn especially defensive to check things like the zap those check things like the needle king if you guys look at his team his team is strongly strongly especially offensive barring something like an iron defense skarmory barring something like a physical solar arc most of his mons run and run physical so uh this thing just being a really really good uh, especially defensive pivot being able to get up rocks which is really nice for things like the zapdos if it's not heavy duty boots things like the zorark to find out what's what zorark and what's not and things for the nine tails is really really nice flip turn for momentum earthquake which i can see myself clicking against this team a lot and then toxic of course guys um i'm really really scared of a uh, of a um, you know uh sub toxic uh uh, zapdos because now that i think about it unless we're hitting the zapdos with the toxic we don't really hit it back for much um so that's a little bit scary and something i'm gonna have to keep in mind while battling for sure zapdos is actually a pretty big problem so um hopefully hopefully this thing can check it and hopefully he doesn't bring sub toxic as always guys i want to give a big shout out to the front office homies and the prep city for helping out especially marcus marcus actually gave me a, a mock match which actually helped make a lot of changes to my squad that i realized were super weak so um, big brother here hopefully hopefully being that special defensive wall we want we want this mostly switching in on things like the needle king 100 percent uh next we got my girl sphinx here rocking the synchronizability just because he has a lot of toxic mons on this team like if i switch in he wants to toxic me he's gonna get that back things like zapdos thing i can see myself switching this in on things like the zapdos things like the mill tank uh things like the masharna things like the nine tail so if he wants to let off that's toxic that's fine with me protect wish heal bell foul plays basically just to support set this week uh heal bell is really really nice because of my mock uh you know toxic spam was really really uh viable because he has so many thick walls things like zapdos things like mill tank things like masharna things like um uh, gothita things like whimsicott if he wants to run that bulky as well could be a little bit annoying so he definitely has a lot of thick walls that we want to toxic uh get the toxic back on uh and heal bell is something that's really really nice so we can be able to recover any type of status we get next is going to be our first win con for the game and i'm very very excited it's going to be birdo and uh actually i ended up switching this item last second before the battle um i haven't battled yet i know i'm talking like i already battled but i'm actually about to battle before, right after this uh birdo here rocking the throat spray actually guys we're rocking throat spray because clangris soul will give us a boost in all our stats and then one more because of throat spray and if this is at plus two and everything is chipped down we pretty much win like there's nothing he can really do to stop this sweep uh barring something like maybe stun swore um on a prankster whimsicott it's probably his best uh shot at taking this thing down or something like a scarf the zapdos it's probably his best bet at taking this thing down but if this thing gets set up man this thing is absolutely molly whopping this team playing scales at plus two will kill basically everything especially after rocks close combat is there for miltank flamethrower is there for whimsicott and the skarnery pretty much and 
that's pretty much gg if we can get this thing going uh just gotta wait be patient for the right position um i definitely want to use this to threaten out mill tank because if i get a u-turn off on victini on the mill tank i would definitely want to bring this thing out i want to click close combat for free uh you know uh the zapdos could switch in and give us a static but that's fine we can always heal that off with sphinx later on in the game which is basically the theory um so that's why i took off lumberry and i put throat spray instead because if this thing gets to plus two it can pretty much clean up his whole team so that's really really nice next we got rotomo we opted for rotomo el cabron over scissor this match just because of the potential fire coverage he can have on a lot of his mons uh things like mill tank gets fire punch things like helio does get fire punch things like zora get flamethrower nine tails as well um you know this uh heat wave on zapdos fire blast on needle king like he, he could run a lot of fire coverage so i definitely didn't want to bring scissor to this matchup so i opted to bring el cabron right here volt switch toxic defog leaf storm no type of electric stab since his main switch into this thing is most likely going to be the needle king so we want to be using this thing to get off defogs uh, a leaf storm or two if we know the needle king's chip down uh it is gonna switch in not chip down but leaf storm can help chip down the needle king if we know it's switching in is what i meant to say toxic is really nice for things like i think zapdos is gonna be his main switch into this thing so if we can toxic that thing it'd be beautiful um we really need a toxic off on that zapdos dude if we want to take it down um that's gonna be super super important uh but yeah basically just my defogger this match and leftovers is really nice especially defensive so that we can get some uh you know uh defogs off on some of especially defensive mons we can eat things like uh the heliolisk uh choice specs hyper voices mill tank body slams we can eat a lot of stuff and i believe i'm running enough speed on this uh enough speed on this to outspeed hmm I want to say the speed is for no speed invest is Zapdos, and I have the same amount of speed on my Como as well for a non speed invested Zapdos. So that's pretty much what that benchmark is there because Miltank's base 102. So both very, very good. And next is going to be the ultimate win con, guys. This is a really, really nice win con if the Needle King is chipped down. If we could chip down that Needle King to about 50 percent or even just you know play fairly well around it we have to figure out what item that needle king is we have to figure out if it's assault mist if it's choice scarf if it's life orb if it's choice specs if it's etc 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 once we find out the item on needle king we can definitely definitely start to uh plot our end game more around this you know tapu loco here working the call mine roost stored power thunderbolt my idea is that i can bring this in on something i'm gonna go ahead and go for a call mind as he brings in the needle king I'm going to go ahead and call mine again in Needle King's face. And then if it's chipped down, like max HP assault vested will still be O code after two call mines. So we get the call mine when he switches in. We take one more. We do one more call mine as he's in. And we'll only take about 56 to, to 70. 56 to 70 percent i want to say from the earth power um or the sludge wave whichever one he opts to go for so um as long as he's not physical either physical needle king is something we definitely definitely have to be careful of but as long as he's not any of those things this thing pretty much just cleans up against this team if you guys check it out nothing really really wants to switch into this thing and nothing can really even take a hit from this thing so call mine Co uh, coco much like last week hopefully going to put the team on his back and put in a lot of work guys that's the whole team builder for you guys uh let me make not let me make sure to let me know down in the comment section below what's your guys's favorite set and which one you think will put in the most work this match my money is on como -O. i really want birdo to get a sweep here and hopefully it does but i'm gonna go ahead and get connected with abomination and i'll be right back at you guys with the battle Alrighty, guys we are back and if you guys did skip to this part of the video we are taking on abomination and his absica mill tanks i believe it's pronounced um gonna go ahead and start searching for abomination here guys the six that i'm expecting are actually on this side sorry i got it got it a little mixed up um that's what i'm have fun good luck should be a great battle guys um i did mention in my team builder that um i'm expecting these six right here um big shout out to uh, all the front office homies for the help with prep and prep city as well and marcus uh muckus for the mocks i'm gonna go ahead and click because we know what we're doing out here we know that we want that victini lead Victini lead, if we see Zor, um, Zor could be a little bit of a problem for sure. Um, 
also didn't mention this in the team builder guys but my opponent actually does upload so make sure to go check the description down below opponent's channel go show him some love super super cool guy and i've been getting only good vibes from him since you know we started talking so go check him out he's probably a cool cool ass dude and uh yeah um uh, he actually told me that he's gonna go ahead and film a quick intro so i'm gonna go ahead and do a quick cut to when we get connected at team matchup all right guys we are all connected here and he decides to bring okay he does bring the zorark which we were expecting no whimsicott which is nice to see and no heliolis okay so he goes no whimsicott uh no whimsicott and no heliolis he opts for the masharna and he opts for the zorark as well uh we'll put zorark right there I don't know what we were expecting. Um, yeah, not too off. Masharna is cool. Good thing we did bring Umbreon because if not, um, yeah, that could have been a problem for sure. So um, not really, really too, too concerned. If it's not Calm Mind Masharna, it should be fairly manageable. Coco does still go in this match as well. It's just a matter of chipping down on the Needle King. Uh, Masharna also gives uh, our boy... Uh, Tapu Coco, another setup target as well. It also gives our boy, uh, our girl, Birdo O, another setup potential as well. I just realized that a lot of my team doesn't have genders, which is, which is cool. We don't believe in the gender binary on this side. I'm just gonna go ahead and look at the team uh, matchup a little bit more, guys. Um, yeah, Victini goes in this game. So, uh, fun fact about my Victini. We are actually built to always live a choice scarf, a modest dark pulse or night days from Zorark. So if he wants to lead that, that's not a problem. We'll always eat one for sure. Um, I'm gonna tell him have fun, good luck. Well, actually I already did. He said you too. So we're all good on this side. Um, yeah, have fun, good luck to him. Hopefully it's a good, uh, you know, hacks free battle. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get it going. We'll go ahead and switch to music. Let's see who he needs to scar me, which is beautiful. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and get this music going for you guys and the music seems to be a little bit loud but i don't mind that i think i might just turn on my audio a little bit uh skarmory here uh it's might be aka uh if i do switch out on this what's something i wouldn't mind bringing in rotom mo let's just go ahead and u-turn now baby u-turn should be fine i doubt this is a zorark he's gonna stay in if it's zorark we'll find out right now is it zorark it is it is our okay perfect so it's not it's not scarf or zorark or anything like that um we run him down to about 30 percent i want to say uh that's a bulky uh boy isn't it big teeny on the zorark for sure uh u-turn yeah i did about that much uh let me see how much is zorark doing to our umbreon and how much is umbreon doing back it's doing a fair amount um probably goes for a dark type move here right right it's not scarfed either so like tapu coco could be a bring as well i don't want to risk that though let's just go ahead and go right into umbreon here uh if he has focus blast that's fine we'll live we'll live uh one after whatever moves he decides to go for here which should be night days yes that's fine he's gonna hit it uh 384 to 337 and he does get the what is it accuracy drop uh we went down to 337 right let me see 337 which it did about 12 percent. so this isn't life orb um this isn't life orb at all foul play is pretty free right here um i could also go for a wish uh we live the focus blast so i'll go for a wish here actually i'll go for a wish you might want to switch out here unless he has the focus blast he can't really touch us even if he does have the focus blast i'm pretty sure this was sash lead uh, I'm going to put Sash here. So Zor Arc. I think it's Sash and it had Night Days. Uh, should have the Focus Blast. He's actually going to switch out here. So we'll get a Wish up. And he goes out into Zazapdos. That's actually Needle King. Okay, that's fine. We'll get the Wish off here. I'm going to go straight into my Swamper here. As we're, we remain pretty healthy. I hope he doesn't get up a T-Spike here. That's like my worst fear, uh, T-Spike, but I'm pretty free just to go into Big Brother here. And um, we can eat whatever this thing wants to go for. We threaten it out with the Earthquake. Most likely, I'm going for Flip Turn. I think Flip Turn is a beautiful way to keep up momentum. So I think I'm definitely going to go for that. I can see T-Spikes here. I could see like an Earth Power Sludge Wave. We'll find out what he is right now as well. He does go for Toxic. Toxic Needle King. 
Very, very interesting bring. Very, very interesting. He does get it off. That's fine. We do have the heal bell. And we can get a free heal bell off on that Zorark anytime. Um, and here we just flip turn. We can also get up rocks. Let's get up rocks. Let's get up rocks. I like rocks early game for Zapdos. Find out if it's heavy duty boots or not. The Zorark will also take another 12% when coming in, even though it was already like pretty chipped down. Um, I really like that a lot. We can eat whatever thing this wants to go for, for sure. This thing is not touching us. And um, we also, we didn't get the wish because we didn't take any damage, but it's completely fine with me. Yep, he is going to switch out here as Audi goes into Zapdos. Yep, that's fine. This is actually my switch into Zapdos. So this pressures him. If he's sub, he's going to want to go for Defog here. This might not be, um, okay, it's not leftovers. I'm just going to go for a straight, um, okay, we know Needle King has Toxic, right? I want to go for Toxic here. I really, really hope this isn't sub. If it's sub, it's, it's more problematic. Um, hopefully it's Defog, but I, I don't know if it's Defog when he has a whole Skarmory right there. He's going to go for Charge. Which will Spadef. Please land. We do land. Okay, perfect. 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 This is fine. Um, this is fine. This is fine. His special, his special defense went up, but I don't think Zapdos gets much of a like way to like a refresh or something like that is what I'm looking for, the word. Um, so I think here I'm just gonna go straight into my Umbreon. I'm gonna go ahead and get off a heal bell. Probably get up a wish. Uh, we're still fairly healthy on this thing, which is beautiful as well. And we'll just go right into Sphinx here. I don't think we have much to worry about. Um, the Toxic is really, really nice for landing. Uh, this thing, I don't think this thing gets like Refresh or anything like that. Uh, his best bet's like Mill Tank, right? Mill Tank. Um, Mill Tank. Uh, okay, it's Rest. It's definitely, definitely Rest, right? It's definitely, definitely rest, right? So this thing has curse. Curse and charge. So it's a dual setup. It is, is it mono electric? If it's mono electric, it can never touch my swamper. Um, I'm going to foul play here for damage. I could also see heal bell being the play. I'll play here for damage, I guess. Let's just do like 20%, 15%. Okay, he should go for rest here, I think, if he has it. That's fair damage. He's gonna go for the charge again. Okay. So this is definitely rest. But does that mean it's is it mono hurricane? Could be mono hurricane. Well, if he doesn't rest here, he could die. If he doesn't rest here, he could die. I think I want foul play. I think I, I don't know. He's gonna rest here. If he rests, we heal Bell. He's gonna get the static, better than the toxic, and he's gonna rest here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Resto chesto. Resto, Chesto. Okay, we'll heal Bell here. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how he touches my Swamper here, unless it's Hurricane. And if it's Hurricane, I think this thing infinitely stalls him out. I'm gonna curse again. That's fine. Um, we're gonna heal Bell here. That's fine. Okay, this is kind of scary. Um, I don't have like roar or anything is the only bad thing. But I think I might have to just like start setting up with Coco too. This thing gets to like plus six plus six. Shouldn't really be able to touch Coco. And if I can toxic it, I can pressure it. Um, I want to go for a, a wish and then I'm going to go into my Swampert. 
because like I said, I think even at plus six, I don't think this thing's too scary since it has to choose between like electric, which Coco is going to be able to eat and it's going to have to choose unless it's physical. Bro, that just hit my head like right now. Okay, it take recoil. We'll go ahead and get some uh, some leftover recovery. What's 171? Yeah, this thing's kind of problematic. I was like, unless this thing's physical, <laughs> it was physical. Um, I'm okay just protecting here. Like, I think this thing is gonna go ahead and take some uh, some damage. I think it might be actually a plus two attack, right? Doesn't that make foul play do more though? Is the question? Yes, it does. Okay. I'll play on his end. Um, perfect. Okay. Yes. Okay. So check it out. This thing's at what? This thing's at plus three attack. Okay, plus three attack. It's also at plus three defense though. Okay, plus three, yes, 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 plus two speed death, and minus three speed. Perfect. Okay. So foul play is actually doing a lot here. Uh foul play actually does a lot here. So let's go ahead and foul play. He's gonna have to either choose to foul play or to rest. Um so we should be able to live this next one, I believe. Oh, why did that do nothing? Why did I do nothing? Oh, I'm so dumb. How can the wrong mon? Zap those. Plus three attack. Oof. Yeah, this thing's not really touching it. Um, I need a way to switch into my guy for free. Um, Heal Bell's really nice too. What's, what's this thing's for death looking like? He's at plus three, plus three, and then plus three. I think we just, we just trade. Like, I think we have to either get this thing in range. Okay, it's going to go for another one of these things. If he rests, though, that's two turns he's going to let us set up with Coco. Two turns is gonna let us set up with Coco, right? Is now the turn? Maybe he maybe he goes for rest now. Cause I'm not taking a brave bird with this thing from with Coco. Actually I can, but uh, that's if it's not max attack. What I need to be at, yeah, I need to actually be at a lot more. This seems a problem. Uh, I'm gonna foul play here on the on the rest probably. Hmm. To be a long game, boys. Ooh. I think I have to heal bell. I heal bow in his first turn of sleep. I hit him again. He could stall me out of heal of my uh, things is the problem. He's not sleep talk. We do get the heal bow off, which is nice. So we should be able to get two guaranteed um, bow plays here. And it looks like it's doing a little bit more than 20. I mean, he's also playing with crits, right? Like, stupid bird. Um, I mean, he's playing with crits is the problem. I'm gonna foul play again here, which is probably a mistake. Probably heal bow is best. But I think I just want damage off on this thing because he's gonna mix up this turn, right? This set was hella, hella funny. 
It's my really went curse. Charge. Zapdos. I don't think anything could have prepared me for this. The best bet I think is just like Best bet is to try to get it within 20, 20 damage. Okay, if we can move this and get it off the foul play, it'd be beautiful. We can. Can we kill? Ooh, good lord. Okay. Oof, okay. Um, Breon kill Zapdos. Hey, let me tell y'all something. Zapdos is a real one. I mean, uh, Sphinx is a real one for that. Okay, guys. We can always get a heal bar off on something else. Zapdos is gone. That was a huge wow. That was huge. That was huge. Um, he doesn't really have much for this though, for Umbreon. Umbreon's pretty thick on him. Uh, whatever he brings out next, I might want to protect on. Um, that Zapdos set was crazy, guys. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what that was. I've never encountered something like that in my in my drafting career. Um, he goes into Needle King here. He takes some stealth rocks. Um, he takes some stealth rocks. Uh, we die to anything this thing wants to go for. Do I just make the switch into Big Brother here? Do I sack this thing off? Um, Umbreon. Actually, I want to keep Umbreon around because of his psychic type. That's the problem. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make the switch into Big Brother here. Should still be able to live any two hits this thing wants to go for. Guaranteed. Um, we're pretty thick. Swamper um, on the Needle King will also get a range of... Oh, I want to know what this thing's item is. I need to know. Sludge Wave. It brings us down from 300 to 250. 300 and it's a crit. We hate to see it. Is that Black Sludge? Okay, that's Black Sludge. Okay, so 215, right? 215. Down from 300. That's about 21% with a crit. 21% with a crit. This man's like no speed, no no investment here. Um, earthquake does a lot. He's probably like max HP. He doesn't have an earthquake. Oh, he does. He does. He does. I'm gonna flip turn out. Flip turn out here. Um, flip turn should still be doing about like 30% chip. And then we can bring in something like the Victini. Even if he's max HP, flip turn is doing about 49. But we'll see. He got the crit, which is a little bit unfortunate. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but it does look like he's no special attack invested uh, Needle King, so he might be fully spadef for something like my uh, type of Coco, which would make a lot of sense. He's gonna run to Masharna here, okay? Uh, Masharna comes out here. I think I'm gonna go to type of Coco instead of a Calm Mind. Nice, good damage, okay? Yeah, this might be bringing crazy sets, so let's just go ahead and go straight into type of Coco here. He might be like Max Bedef Needle King. Tapu Loco, the Tapu Coco. And I think we're just gonna click Calm Mine here, baby. I think we're clicking Calm Mine here, baby. If he's toxic, be a little bit annoying. He's leftovers. Asharna. Asharna. If it's Calm Mine to my Como, we still got a little bit of time left. Uh, To my Tapu Coco. Plus one, plus one. At plus one, we will two hit KO it. And I like it better just because of the, the whole Needle King situation we got going on in the back. Uh, it'll pressure it for sure. He's gonna go hard Needle, right? He goes hard Needle. Well, we know this thing's no special attack investment. So we could like set up over this thing's face, right? I think it's AB. Pretty sure it's assault vested. Um, salt vest, Womper, it did 21% with the crit. Oh, okay, it's just max special attack, uh, salt vested. But if I'm not mistaken, Tapu Coco, it looks like max HP. Why does that do nothing? Plus one, plus one. 
two, two. Plus two. He's black sludge, huh? Oh, he's black sludge. He's not assault vested. So dumb. Black sludge. Max special attack. Um, why though? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Why is that doing that much? This calc is stupid. I should be able to live the next one. I'm going to go for Calm Mind here. Oh, please don't be physical, Needle King. Abu Coco to a Needle King here. Is it for Sludge Wave? We eat. Eat. Rounds down to 149. 149. Is 49%. We are now 169, which is 51%. Um, that's down to 45%. If I roost here, um, we are at plus two, plus two. It's not life orb. He's black sludge. Black sludge here. Yeah. This should kill. This should kill. Even if he is max HP, this kills. I'm clicking it. It should kill. You love to see it, baby. You love to see it, baby. Tapu Coco kills Needle King. You love to see it, baby. You love to see it. Let's get it. Tapu Coco the murderer. Apple Coco the murder. We have enough speed to outspeed Zorak as well, which we know is not choice scarf. Um, if he brings something like Mill Tank with the earthquake, which could problematic. He actually goes into Masharna here. Masharna. We're at plus two, plus two. This looks like a, a kill from here. This looks like a kill from here. I want to check Mill Tank. Uh oh, I was calculating the wrong one. Yep, I kept the wrong one. Side shock here. This shouldn't kill though. fine it's fine um do i want to try to roost on this thing again this thing healthy could be nice for like sucker punch um how much is I, how much was side shock doing i should do it about 31 percent um let's go ahead and roost here Go ahead and roost. Well, I, I think even if he toxics, we, we don't really need the longevity. And I definitely want to see how much this is doing to us. So we're at 260 now. 260 down to 79. Down to what? 130, 36 to 41. It's doing about 38%. It's doing about 38%. We are at 156 right now. He's getting like max rolls too. Um, I think we're at a fine amount of health where we can just click Thunderbolt now. We don't really have to worry too much. I think the mill tank, even if it is fully, um, if it's like pretty spadef, get the crit, didn't matter. Uh, if it's fully spadef after rocks, Still a guaranteed to hit KO. Not sure if he'd be packing the earthquake. But if he is, I think we might be out of range. We have to check. But Coco kills. Coco kills Masharna. Masharna, okay. Coco kills Masharna. I think we sweep, guys. I don't, I'm not sure if we sweep, but I think we might sweep here. End game. This cow. Okay. 176. If this cow has no investment, we are more than okay to live in Earthquake. If he has no physical investment, but he could. 
Let's see if this kills. It doesn't body slam. We should live this. No para. Perfect. No para. Um, something I'm really scared of is something like a uh, Zorark Sucker Punch, which is something I could definitely see him saving this for. I should have T-Ball here, though. We have lefties. Um, Skarm isn't a problem. This cow's pretty thick. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's like Max Bedef. Hey, Coco kills cow. Coco kills cow. Okay. So it looks like Coco might be picking up five five bodies this game. Uh, Zora Arc. If it's fully offensive, Sucker Punch does about 22 to 26% to us. So I have to see where we're at. And um, Okay, this is Skarmory. This is Skarmory here. Um, we're at 116. So that means even if this is the Zorark, we 100% live. Um, this thing should die. It's not Wakan, so this thing will die for sure. So, so Coco kills Skarm. Okay, y'all, but can we talk about that Zapto set? Like, can we talk about that Zapto set? Because what was that? Like, what? What was that? Umbreon, man, you're a real one. Umbreon stick. Umbreon live that. She a real one. Uh, if this thing's Scarf, which I don't think it is, because we saw the, uh, I don't think it's Scarf because we saw the Victini outspeed and Victini was speed creeping, uh, Timid Needle King. So, yep, Coco's just gonna sweep, bro. Coco Madness. Coco kills Zorark here, guys. And we will go ahead and secure. I think, is that a 6 0? Is that a 6 0? Whoa! <laughs> guys, we get our like first 6 0, I think, in like all of our Wi Fi career, guys. So. <laughs> um good games to abomination here zapdos was stupid scary guys i don't know how i beat that set if you know i didn't luck out with that brave bird and i broke paras too like breaking those paras was so so big um i want to give a huge shout out to abomination guys make sure to go check him out in the description down below like i said guys wavy ass guy he was super super chill throughout the whole planning process scheduling all that good stuff so make sure to go check him out and uh, yeah guys we get our our 6-0 of the season, we are starting off the season 2-1 after bouncing back to that L against Lucas. So great games to Abomination, man. And uh, Coco, man. Coco put it in the work. Gotta love me some Coco, right? Call mine Coco for the win. Um, yeah, guys, that's all I really have to say. I'm going to go ahead and dip out of here. Uh, make sure to leave a like if you guys did enjoy. If you guys are brand new, as always, definitely, definitely consider subscribing. I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.